going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Okay guys, you remember on the other video, I was talking about how I couldn't find it. I found it. I had to stop the video and then look around and I found it. This is it. So we're going to talk about that. We're gonna talk about this later on. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you missed the other video when we talked about it. Like, it was toward the end of the video. Okay, anyways, we need to talk. I feel like we need to talk, so let's talk. So, Trisha Paytas. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. Trisha Paytas. <laughs> well, I don't even know what that was. I just did. Okay, Trisha Paytas honestly has started a podcast. I think it's called Dish with Trish or Trish with Dish or I don't know. And she has a co-host, really cute guy on there. I don't know his name, but I think he hangs out with Tana Mojo. So there's that, right? But he's always like, he's always the type of guy that, I'll, just my opinion, he's the type of guy that he likes to like be in the know. But then he's like, please exclude me from this narrative. Please excuse me for the narrative. Do not put my name in the video. That's like him, right? Love him so much. Okay, <laughs> whatever. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Before we get into the drama, this video is sponsored the house by Manscaped. If it nicks the sack, send it back, guys. I love Manscaped so much. I use their razor, the 2.0. I love it because it's waterproof, rechargeable, TSA friendly. Literally the best shaver I have used in a while. So if you're interested, you can check it out. I'll leave my link down below, code RICHLUX. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. I won't steer you wrong. Thank you, Manscaped, your sponsor this video. Let's get on with the drama. So Trisha Payton started uh, a podcast. And I think it's very interesting timing. It literally came out of nowhere. It just, boom, it just came out of nowhere. And everyone says, I wanna start a podcast. I wanna start a podcast, right? People think it's like the easiest thing in the world to start, start a podcast. Girl, it's kind of hard, okay? Because one, you have to have a schedule, okay? And then you have to have like a good quality mic. Some people just do audio only. Trisha Paytas is doing video and audio podcast. Whoa. Okay, whoa. I don't know where she finds the time to do it, but I love that she's doing this podcast. And I feel like, just my opinion, I feel like this is a big slap in the face to the H3H3 H3 people who came for her earlier this year, multiple times on their podcast. So I feel like she's like, if you can do it, I can do it, and I'm gonna do it better. So I kind of feel like her podcast, this is where I'm gonna get a lot of hate. I kind of feel like her podcast will get more views and subscribers than H3H3. H3. Give it time. She's growing her little channel, so give it time. I think she will surpass A3, A3 because she's bringing the guests. She's bringing the guests that I want to see. A3, A3, I respect them and their hustle, but they bring guests that I don't care about, right? Because there's different communities of people, right? And sometimes they like cross promote or cross pollinate. I just, the guests that Trisha Paytas is bringing on, I like. Okay, the guests that H3H3 H3 is bringing on, I can care less about, okay? But that doesn't make my opinion the one that matters. It's what you guys want to watch, okay? Love them all so much. But Trisha Paytas is a great interviewer. She interviewed me one time, and I was just like, she goes there, girl. Like, she's no holds barred. She's going to ask the questions that you really don't want to talk about. And, like, she'll kind of be respectful of it, but she wants to, she wants to know what's up. And it's from her perspective. And I don't think Trisha Paytas will come for people if you come for her. That's pretty much her thing, right? Cause she really doesn't just, she really just doesn't attack out the gate. It's cause she has built up frustration, stuff people don't know about, behind the scenes stuff, or if she feels attacked that she lashes out. That's just how she is, right? She's like a she's like a really pretty cat that's really nice, but then when you make it mad, it just kinda the claws come out. To me, that's Trisha Paytas in a nutshell, right? So anyway, she has a new podcast. She has Shane Dawson on there, and she also had Jeffree Star on there on different times. I'm pretty sure she's gonna have like Tana. I can see her stuff, and you know what I like about hers? I think she's gonna have like, I can see her having really popular like, um, you know, adult stars on there. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, let's get on to what she was really talking about. So she had Shane Dawson on the podcast, and he it was very long. It was a very long podcast. The part that I was like, oh my gosh, stop everything, what? Was whenever she started asking him about drama. And he answered like, well, you know, I never really wanted to expose anyone, said Shane Dawson. And he reiterated things that he said before, but sometimes people just don't get it or they didn't hear. It's almost like if you put something on Instagram, not everyone sees it. If you put something on Twitter, not everyone sees it. You put something on YouTube, not everybody's going to see it. 
it's so, so he was, you know what I'm saying? I get it, but at the same time, you don't want to bombard people with, with it all. He had stated in the past that he does not want to like expose the beauty community or expose people, right? So he said that he was in communication with Tati Westbrook, Tati Glam Life Guru, and James Charles. And he was asking them questions. Like, hey, I'm gonna make this video. This is the, what it did. I'm gonna show this part, you know? And they were like, okay, cool. That was it. Like he was making sure, he was like getting their permit, like giving them a heads up and being nice because, which is really nice because he doesn't have to do that. Most people just put stuff out there and hit below the bell. And that's that's what I like about Shane Dawson. And he just like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? Just, I'm like, you know, you know, you know, that type of thing, right? So I think that was very nice for him to do that. And he just touched upon like, he doesn't really watch drama videos about himself because he doesn't like to hear people talk about him, whether they're bad or good. He does, even if they're good videos, he just doesn't want to hear it. And sometimes he does like watch the negative videos. He gets sad and depressed about it. And that's why he just doesn't like it. I think that he's done with the drama. I think that he is because in the podcast, he seemed like he was over it. He was like, I like the drama and the tea and the beauty gurus, but then when it was my name attached, I didn't want to watch it. And that's the, that's the true tea, girl. Everybody loves drama. It, y'all in the comments down below put down everybody loves drama but the minute it's about themselves when they're in the drama <gasps> i don't have drama i don't have the show i don't know drama. they don't like the drama at all that's the truth all day long i think it was i forgot who said it it was like some reality star that was like i love drama and that it's about me i don't like drama that's pretty much that's pretty much what it is and the thing is with drama, everyone gets talked about, everyone gets, well, becomes the punching bag or everyone is a topic of discussion at some point. So you have to understand that if you're in the drama, and this goes for like other YouTube channels who do drama or commentary, they do drama, but they call it commentary, girl, okay? You know what I'm talking about? Anyone who does drama or commentary, trust and believe one day, someone's gonna, you're gonna be the topic of discussion and you're gonna freak out, right? Okay? It's just, that's just the way of the world. That's just how it goes down. And people get all upset about it, but that's the truth all day long, girl. And that's what it is. Cause you know what? There's always gonna be people who don't like you. I can tell you this, someone's, oh my gosh. Someone told me this and it stuck with me the rest of my life. Did I see it on TV or did somebody tell me? Maybe somebody saw it on TV and then they told me, let's just go about it that way. It was like, you could be the ripest, most beautifulest, fullest, juiciest peach, on the tree and somebody's gonna be like, I don't like peaches, that's nasty. You know what I'm saying? So you could be the best of the best in something and somebody's not gonna like it, right? And they'll make video, I don't like, I don't like peaches, peaches are nasty, very much that. And so that's, I kind of feel that way. So if Shane Dawson made documentary the way people, I guess, wanted it to go, people were still gonna be upset that they didn't like it. That's always an option, girl. It's always an option that you don't like something. That's why I love makeup. Because no matter how good and amazing it looks, there's gonna be people who are like, I don't like that look. That look busted the house. That is not a look, okay? Like it's very that. So I digress with all that drama. He was on the podcast. It's very good, it's very entertaining. You should check it out if you're into it. If you like podcasts, he kind of opens up the door and talks about things that, you know, and they, oh, they also get emotional on there and they spill a little tea. All right, let's talk about this drama. Okay, so this is the one I found, second one. I think there's, I don't know how many there are in the world. Well, I mean, I know there's like, not in the world, but like, I think there's like, there's the Minnie Mouse, which is like the Minnie Mouse head. And then there's this one and there's another, oh, whatever that queen is, the one that eats the apple, the Disney queen with the apple. There's that one and it's in the shape of an apple. Okay, so let's get this one. So this is Ariel, has her little signature there. It's Disney, five bucks at Walmart. And uh, let me see, it says brilliant. It's the same thing like the other one. See the possibilities under the sea. All right, whatever. Girl. Okay, the last one was a hot ass mess, but I liked it because the packaging was cute. So if you're into the Little Mermaid, you're under the sea stuff, this will look so cute on your vanity because it's really good packaging, right? It is cruelty free, but girl, the last one sucked, the makeup sucked. So let's see if this is any different. All right, so you get this high quality mirror, <laughs> okay? But no, it does come off. It does come off and then you actually get like a decent mirror. But like I said before, it's like a, like a circus type of mirror because I look kind of like, very that. And then this 
It has the, like the plastic over it, but it comes out. Look, see, I took this out and these are never glued down. They're never glued down. So it just comes right off. See that? So these are like lip balms. And then I did this earlier. Here's the red, like a deep red. And then you swatch it, nothing comes. It's a lip balm, but it smells really nice, but it doesn't have any like uh, payoff as for like green lips, blue lips or whatever. It doesn't do that, but it looks like it moisturizes, but I don't know, girl, who am I, okay? Then once you pull it out, you have this exposed bottom part and you can put stuff in here. So like money or coins or stuff like that. And I think that's really, really cute. So there you go, this was that. So if you wanna see what the other one looked like, it was in my last video. It was like uh, the Minnie Mouse one. It, had, it just had a like Minnie Mouse head. And I think it was cool because you could put stuff in there. And then there's an Apple one. But I want to see if there's like one that's shaped like other stuff. Like and now I'm interested to know because I don't really care so much about these, about this. I don't care about that or what comes inside. I just want it for the packaging. So I think it's super cute because you can also put like travel brushes in here or like maybe your beauty blender or something. And it's just cute. If you're like a fan of Little Mermaid, it is kids makeup. But this is, I think, honestly what you're paying for because this thing right here, girl, not bother. That's just my opinion all day long. Let me know what you think about all that drama in the comments down below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Smash that button, comment, rate, subscribe. 